What is up? Today is Friday. Thank God. The week is finally over. The weekend is finally here. This is great. Got some uh, exciting stuff today. I got a little bit of free-for-all tips, some stuff that you guys can use to help yourselves improve, uh, stuff that I've learned. By no means am I some kind of an exceptional gamer. I am very average. I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to learn everything I can. And as I learn, as I get better, my plan is to share those tips with you guys. Also, I'm still using this new Razer Sabertooth controller. I think I'm going to put a review out there this weekend. I'll probably film something, uh, give at least my initial review. You know, you, you can't, it's hard to really review this thing until you've played with it for weeks and months, you know. But I want to get something out there just so anybody who's thinking about buying it can uh, kind of get an initial review anyway. Today we're playing on the map Overlook. I really enjoy this map. At first, I think I was a little cold on it, but as I've as I've learned the map, I've really grown used to it. I like it for free for all too. I like it for any of the Slayer game types, you know, Kill Confirmed or Team Deathmatch, Domination. I don't like how there's so many so many Overlook points over that B flag. It makes it I don't know. It's a, a suicide mission to get that B flag. Uh, so, I'm using the MP7 still. You, really, I'm only using the MP7 because, you know, I recently prestiged using the early unlock guns. Frankly, I don't get much enjoyment out of using the, uh, out of using the submachine guns. They're just, they're too good at everything and it makes them kind of boring to use. I guess, you know, it's fun to win, so uh, that's always a strong suit. Get out of here. That guy is running around this whole game with that stupid thing, the executioner. That he must be trying to get it gold because there is no reason to use that gun. That gun is terrible. So, uh, yeah. So, I want to give you guys a couple of free-for-all tips that I've learned that I've really enjoyed. Uh, and the number one is to know your spawns, right? There's a plenty of ways out there to learn the spawns. You can buy the strategy guide. The strategy guide has the spawns in it. You can go online. There are plenty of sites that have uh, pictures of the maps with you know dots to where the spawns are for different game types this I think is the most important thing you can do really for any game type to be successful is if you know where the people are coming from you're gonna know how to set yourself up for you know the least amount of risk for each engagement you know you know where all those head glitches are you know where they're coming from so you can bounce from head glitch to head glitch even if you're Russian you, you still want to be doing that you want to be protecting your body while you have you have the advantage over anybody you're gonna run across so knowing your, I almost, I think I almost blew that, uh, that strike down with that hunter killer. Anyway, so yeah, man, that's a big, big deal. Know your spawn points. You gotta know them, every one of them. Okay, so the next one is now in this game type, I am running a silencer, and overall, I gotta say, I don't really dig on silencers for free for all. The problem with it is, is that yes, you are stealthy. Yes, you can sneak up behind people easier, but the big downfall is it can be very hard to find traffic, especially if you're playing bigger maps. You, when you don't have a silencer on your class, what ends up happening is people come rushing to you. As long as you know that, as long as you realize that, there's that execution here again. As long as you realize that people are coming and you know where the spawn points are, so you know where they're gonna be coming from, then you can really use an unsilenced weapon to your advantage because you're going to have people rushing in toward you so you can set up each engagement really to maximize your or minimize your risk potential that that is a big deal in black ops right is you want to be you want to set up every gunfight on your terms you don't want to have a 50 50 chance in each gunfight because you're going to lose half the time unless you're an extraordinarily skilled player even then, you still don't want to have a 50-50 chance of winning a gunfight. Like that one right there. What you want to have is an advantage in every gunfight. That's how you get up to the high score streaks. That's how you win games. It's, it's, a, you know, it's a big deal and it's a hard thing to learn. But once you do, that's when you start really seeing a lot of success in Call of Duty. So what, what other things can you do? Well, another thing you can do is you can stick to high traffic areas. Uh, a lot of people make the mistake in free-for-all where they run around the edges of the map. That's okay because you're going to die less because you're not out in the middle getting shot at from all sides. But what you're going to find is that you're going to have trouble winning a free-for-all in that way because you're just not going to see enough traffic. If 
if you, what you need to do is you need to stay inside the high traffic areas. And I'm not saying camp, I'm saying maybe you have two tra high traffic areas near each other and you just move between the two of them. You know where the head glitches are between them so that you're always prepared to dive behind a head glitch, keep shooting and maximize your, you know, your chances of winning each engagement. But you need to be you need to be able to find engagements. You know, you you have to keep killing people to win free for alls. I, I've had many games where I have a good score but it didn't win because, you know, somebody was just in there in the mix more than me. So I'll have, let's say I have, my score is 28 and 4. And I lose to a guy who went 30 and 20 because he was just, he ran directly toward the middle of the map and kept fighting. This used to be big in Modern Warfare 3. There were a bunch of maps where, you know, the spawns were all around. The middle of the map was the most, the most heavily trafficked area. So everybody would just converge in the middle of the map. And there'd just be this huge, you know, brawl going all the time. If you went in there, your KD ratio, ratio is going to go to hell. But you almost, you almost couldn't avoid it because if you stayed around the, the edges of the map, the only people you'd ever see are people who are just, just spawning. And normally, they're not going to spawn near you. I mean, Modern Warfare 3 had some issues with spawning. Everybody knows that. And this game doesn't have quite that issue. I mean, you still, you still see some weird spawns in this game, but nothing like you did in the last one. So that's it. Those are my tips for uh, Free For All for now. Uh, in just a minute, you'll see a couple more videos pop up on the screen. If you click on the left one, it'll bring you up to my initial Razor Sabretooth review. You can just click anywhere on the video and it'll open a new window with the video playing in it. And on the right hand side, I played a game of Free For All and Hijack. Just having fun, random commentary thoughts. I uh, just thought you'd like to see them. Uh, and if you got any questions, leave a comment. I always like hearing from everybody. I'd, I'd really like to uh, play more with subscribers. So if you subscribe and uh, leave your gamer tag in the comments, I'd be happy to pick you up as a, as a friend on Xbox and we can play together. Uh, that's all I got, guys. Have a great day. Bye.